got it again. With amnesia. It's nice to see Don't everybody out and about today. Must be forgotten. The shadow hunting me. Yeah, you know while that's doing that, I'm just gonna turn this down. Right. Right. There we go. Mayfair. Everything's better now. What have I done? This is crazy. Don't forget. Don't forget. I must stop him. Focus. My name is. Is. I am Daniel. If you couldn't tell by the title, I am very tired. The amount of tired I am directly corresponds with the amount of dead I am, both of which seem to be nearing quickly 100%. We're just going to straight go that way. We're just going to go that way. Just go this direction. Follow that. I think that's the Damascus rose oil. I'm just gonna fall for a second. Daniel, get up, Daniel. Oh, I can throw doors open. Good time already. We're almost. Oh shit. Daniel, get up, Daniel. We got this. We can't do this every day, Daniel. Ah, no. Okay. Back at it again. With the spooks. My hair is like in my face. No surprise there. It's a mess today. I don't know why. Let's walk right on past that. Need that boy. Otherwise, I got this. No, stop. Point me towards the... Damn, all right. Well, hey, that went pretty fast. He did fall to the kitchen floor. Alexander, is it inside the castle? In a manner of speaking. Come, bring the lamp. You've been to the refinery, have you not? I don't believe I have. Is it connected to the... What did you call it? The inner sanctum. My most precious chamber. Chamber, Daniel. Daniel. And it lies, it lies well beyond, beyond the refinery. In, In fact, fact, it lies, it lies beneath, beneath the very, the very stone, stone of Brennenburg. That might as well be the line I open with. Like Chilean miners rising from the very stone of Brennenburg. From beneath the very stone of Brennenburg. Man, one of these days, man, one of these days, we'll come up with something. Some way to open all these fucking videos. Okay, there was a graphical error. Cool. You 
have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. You can never be too careful, Daniel! My man, Dan, you can never be too careful. I do wish they didn't stop you from running so much in this game. It's like every chance they get, they just decide, oh man, nah, man, he's gotta stop. He's gotta be stopped! Who are you, dude? I don't remember. Whatever. Hey, dude. That's cool. So you're supposed to... Okay. Or I can just jump and take free damage. That's cool, too. Down. was done, the men said. The tomb had been revealed. Tim Heinen awaits. Grinned the toothless foreman. How you be toothless and also a foreman? How you be toothless? This gotta suck, dude. I mean, I get it. It just happens. This one first. Go for that one last, or at least second to last. What's happening? Oh, feels like my chest is going to burst. times on this PS4 are just abysmal, basically. Ugh. Didn't realize there was RNG here. I know I'm not saying much this time. There's a there's a good reason for that. Ugh, I am. Ugh, man, I'm lost. I'm sorry. I'm not not very energetic today at all. There you go. Some, some red ouchies. Gonna show us what's up. Probably could have dropped down there. In fact, it probably would have just been the best idea. So, there should be more coop rats. And one aqua force. Aqua force. 
gratis. Done. It's all done. Who gives a fuck about that thing? No, let me up. God damn it. Every second counts right now, ladies. Ah, shit. Every second. Some doors in this game. I do like that. The moment you do it, it just you can immediately walk through it. Ugh. It's so good. I do hope everybody's enjoying this so far. The none viewers I have. dark in here. Yes, and there's a good reason for it. But you can light the lamp now if you wish. What's the reason? For the darkness, that is. Stay close. Be careful not to stray. What's the reason? Why is it so dark? Pay attention, Daniel. It's important that you keep going straight and make sure not to stray. crashed through the surface, the dark Atlantic water smothered him as he struggled to make sense of the situation. Yeah.
See, that wasn't bad. Loading times on this game suck. It's also already 340, so like... By the time I get done with this, it'll be... It'll be so late. certainly isn't the best. Fuck me, okay. Alright, here comes the fun part. And by fun, I mean awful. I fucking hate this. There are very few parts in the game I dread. This is one of them. This and the sewer segment, the actual sewer segment with like the juggernaut or the the strong grunt or whatever the fuck his name is. I swear to God he has a name, but I don't remember it. The fact that they're just called grunts is kind of, I don't know, telling about where this game's creativity will bit. Uh, ah, Jesus, was in a general sense. Oh, close that door. I feel like a sh <laughs> I feel like this is better than an actual walkthrough. The thing about this game is like its puzzles are never different. So like as long as it's not a glitched Please, walkthrough. Let me go. I don't tell anyone. I swear. I just want to go home. No! Get away from me. Uh, jump scare coming up. There's gonna be a fire up here, and here we go. No? Where am I? 
Oh, this way. Okay, so up here. I'm sorry. Yeah, there it is. Jump scare, quote unquote. I don't know. They used it to like give you a light source, but what it ended up doing was nothing of importance. You can just run right past this boy, and from here we bring out the lantern because it doesn't matter. If your path making is really good, you should just be fine. You can just run from these boys. Oh shit, well I said that. Fuck me, I'm gonna die, aren't I? You run right past that one since he swings at you the moment he gets too close. Oh uh, yeah, fuck me. I knew it. God damn it. Darkness can act as cover. It can't really, that's the thing. I need to be able to see where I'm going. Where the fuck am I? Oh. That's actually a fine area. That's a couple seconds off. That's okay. There you go. Ugh. I just hate that running sequence. It's not always the same. That's the thing. Don't forget your bag, Daniel. I won't, Herbert. There is no shame in using a parasol in the desert. As it happens, it's imperative to your survival. But it looks ridiculous. The shame will hurt much less than dying, I assure you. I don't know, you get caught on the stairs there sometimes. It says guest room, but in all reality it's like our room. I think. Yeah, there's a couple of the pieces of the story that I've just never understood at all. Like, the key. Please let it be here. It definitely is here. Also, careful in that room. If you close that door, a grunt will spawn out here, and you'll basically just waste a bunch of time. Okay, I almost fell through the map again. Man, that's great. I'm just gonna grab this chair. Shit, I thought I didn't make that one. God, these are scary. Fuck me. Machine room, here we come. Not even a problem. Not even a problem. Stop. Would it take us to the inner sanctum? It will. Oh shit. Okay, that scared the shit out of me because I forgot I even needed the key for a second. You have ridden an elevator before. Yes, the Colosseum of Regent's Park has one. It takes you to the gallery where you can view the panorama. 
Good. This ride might be a little longer. And in the other direction. Alright, let's see. One, five. Two. There. 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 Okay. Eight up, eight down, baby. Is this flow cycle there four phase and trinity okay cool then i need oh i need this that slide down the stairs Well, in all honesty, I need one of these. I swear, the running is so clunky in this game. I bet if you get really fucking good, you can just trick shot all of these. But I'm not really fucking good. Prison warden. This is where criminals are locked up. Like a dungeon? Very much so. Come, don't linger. We don't need all of this moved. We just need some of it moved. Yeah. 
We just need to be able to get in this door. Damn it, is that all that's in here? Ugh, I always forget. No, it's the one across. That's right, this is the one with the hammer. Okay. Hammer hath been found. Well, fuck it, I don't need that apparently. Ah, shit! No, don't give me a flashback. Oh. Where did she go? <laughs> no. Oh, tell. I'll never tell you. Okay. You're just making things worse. Look, this is no, no place for Didn't know that could happen. Herself. She could be hurt or worse. There's no telling what horrors await down there. See, here's the thing, is they- fuck me. First of all, they put those rocks in so fucking weird. Go. Not to mention this fucking thing. No reason to close the door because I'm gonna have to go right out that way, anyways. I don't know. What Is he safe? Well, it's for his own good. I was gonna say that's the nice thing. Now I'm just screwed. That's not it. God, I'm 
guessing. No! I got it. <laughs> he escaped? Where is he now? Working on it. Fuck. Oh, cool. They're just both here. There's fucking three of them! Oh, one of them's real. One of them was real. And now I don't know where I am. Hey, you! Stop! Don't come any closer! I just want to leave! You can't go outside! It's too dangerous! I'm telling Gabriel! I doubt that very much. Okay, okay. I... This way. This way. This way. Okay. Jesus. I saw there was a tender box on the ground. I'm deciding not to get it. I have chosen. To not participate. Okay. So you use the drain sewers as a means of transport. Yes, they were built to divert water from an underground spring and are quite spacious. It seemed only natural Welcome to, to the stream, you two. It's nice to have some viewers. But we won't be using it. Not today. The flow is seasonal, and when the spring runs dry, Here we the go. damp tunnels and down. a rather poisonous type of fungi. There is an antidote, of course, but we won't be bothering with it today. Come, this way instead. We're almost there. Yeah, in hindsight, the faster thing to do would be to go into the machine room. Rather than the cistern and then fix all that, and by the time I came back out, the bridge would already be down, I could run over to it. God, the, the optimization for this room would be fucking buck wild. Because you'd have to run over to, okay, so you'd run over to the oil, you'd get the stuff, you'd do it as fast as possible. And then, if you were thinking, you would throw yes, a fucking rock me to control the water up on top. Sewers to some extent. Also, it can be used for all sorts of purposes. Like the drinking room. Well, that too. But mostly to run different machines. I can't ah, read who that is. Like water mill. Exactly. You know, it seems like platforming, but I'm starting to think those platforms are a lot bigger than I give them credit for. There's one. What's that say? Really quick. Okay. What DL means. He's going to download? Is he gonna download my video? I'd be down. Ah shit. Well, I'm just gonna run through now, I guess. That sound gets me every time specifically because I seem to have this feeling in my fucking gut that one of these times that I just haven't fucking set it off yet, but there is a water monster in here that will kill me the moment I step in the water at any point in time. At any point in time, not just after I do all this. Shit. 
shit. Shit. Okay. Some of these things are puzzle based and some of them aren't. Like straight up and down. The valves puzzles, but the the rest of it, it's not even. I couldn't even call it that, really. Like me throwing a rock. Oh Jesus! Me throwing a rock in order to. I don't know. Um. Amnesia is real fun, man. I totally recommend it. If you haven't played it before, it's super fun. The thing about it that's so much that, like, I think is is really um, the thing about it that I think is so much fun is really the physics engine. I guess um, just the way everything feels. It's like real fun to. Where the fuck did I put those? Oh, over here. It's fun to push doors and throw rocks and shit. It's just, it's a really simple mechanic, but it's just, it's so much fun. Um, the Penumbra games are the same way, and depending on what they let you play with in this game, it can be really, like, super fun. Um, for example, there's just, like, all sorts of, like, doors and hinged stuff that you can play with. All of that, super fun. Whereas, like, this? This is fine. I'm having fun just doing this. But that's just me, you know, like, I just like picking up, oh, shit, come on, <sighs> if you're able to pick things up. This, I feel like the PS4 version is a little different. Also, I'm pretty sure that chair's just stuck on the fucking ground, which kind of sucks. But hey, man, it's what happens. I will say, I'm playing on PS4, so I got some different experiences than most people would. I'm just gonna drop down. That's a poor decision I've made. Goodness, okay. Puzzles are fun too. Like I'm into puzzles. Um, other games like this are like Penumbra. There's a second game here called Machine for Pigs, and that 
that one's fun if you like the the moving aspects because there's a lot of really cool shit in that game to just play with. Um, the thing about that game though is it's just bad see, mostly. It has it's just not as good. The shadow. As for now, come. Let's get this out of here so we can get some peace. Yes, let's. Where to? Just down the corridor to the morgue. Are there more dead men there? You did well, Daniel. Come, let's get going. Hey man, then you'll fucking love this game. It's all about puzzles. Some of them are a little obtuse, like I said earlier. You throw rocks at shit, and sometimes it breaks, and sometimes it doesn't. It's really picky, I think, about what actually does... Oh shit, what actually does anything, you know? I hear you. Breathing down. That's definitely not it. Do you hear me? Have you changed your mind? I definitely haven't. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? Oh shit, I forgot this. <laughs> I was so focused on the comments for half a second because I saw something flash out of the corner of my eye. Oh my god. That that one got me. That one got me. Three days now. This is ridiculous. Someone to this room. Hey, oh. Thanks, man. It's not like I enjoy this game. I'm not I'm not streaming just to show it off, but I really appreciate that. Hey, cool. That's not pray my heavenly father will take me in my sleep. That's okay. It's not super your fault. It's mostly uh mostly mine for totally forgetting that would happen. God, I hate those guys. That will never stop being the truth. There's a difference between being helpless and being able to fix something. Oh my gosh. Oh. And just having to straight up avoid something. Like, the grunts are one thing. You can kind of outspeed them, and if you move right, you can, like, outmaneuver them, too. Those fucking things have the largest hit range ever. So, like, you could be so fucking seven feet away, and they'll still get you. So, thankfully, we're pretty far through the game already, and... In all honesty, right after this is the nave, and then we've like, we're basically already at the end at that point. So now I basically have to crouch, look at the wall, and try to keep moving this way. Wow. Specifically, not looking at him. I'd probably be okay if I looked at him. I just prefer not to deal with the outcome of looking at him if that outcome shall arise. So this goes here. The thing is, like as much as I as much as I love this game, I am kind of speedrunning it like I shit right. Ah, uh, god damn it. You just, uh, here now? It's just a thing. Man, this whole room's fun, isn't it?
I mean, I am 100% justified in hating this level. No doubt in my fucking mind. Also, this. This is obtuse. The pipe seems to be loose. I mean, I get that it's like the one thing in the area that's kind of different, maybe, you know, but still. Again, some of the shit in this game is just kind of obtuse, and I'm not super into that part. See that? Give me a second when I'm not running into this bar. I am playing on PS4, yeah. Dude, if I was playing on PC, this game would be so much easier. But I, like I said, I do not have, I do not have the computer to play both a game and stream right now. That is sadly just not the reality I live in. Turn around this This is what I fucking hate about this game. <laughs> like, there's nowhere to hide up here. I might as well grab this while I'm here. Whoa, okay. Yeah, see, look at that. I might as well have just had him kill me immediately. But yeah, I'm playing on PS4. The moment I, like I said, I said it in the first one, son of a bitch. The moment I get my new computer, I'm all up on... I mean, that's possible, I guess. The thing is, I'm not, like, super into Skyrim, which I know is, like, blasphemy of the highest kind or whatever. But it's just not... not my kind of game. I like the modded versions, but that's just because I like the mods. Now, Fallout New Vegas, I would actually be down for, but if I played it, it'd just be a genocide run. Is Fallout New Vegas on this game? Or, is Fallout New Vegas on the PS4? Yeah, Fallout New Vegas. Oh, sick. Yeah, I mean, I might be super down to play that then. I love New Vegas. Not so into 3, because it's dumb, but that's different. New Vegas is great in so many goddamn ways, and I am a huge fan. Yeah, dude, I would be super down to play that. Um, I did stream Dark Souls a while back, Dark Souls 3, and I'd be down to play that again, I guess. I can't say I'm, I'm good at the game. Saying I was good at the game would be a lot like saying that I was... I don't know. Good at... Smite. I'd be down to play Smite, too. If I was, uh... If I got bored, I think I'd re-download that. And as long as it worked, I'd, I'd be super down to play Smite. Though, for some reason, it just lags like shit on PS4. There is no excuse for how much it lags. I have amazing connection here. No. I can't feel anything. Alexander. Yeah, yeah. Soon, I won't even be able to move, will I? Now, Fallout 4 would be fun. But will it be worth living? Thank you. You have my gratitude. Stop trying to force me to look at the fucking old dude. What you Hell, dude, if you guys want to, I would literally, like, anything I can get my hand... Oh, yeah, Fall <laughs> I was going to say Fallout 4. I didn't know Fallout 3 had a building system. No, building seems really cool in Fallout 4. 
Um, the whole game seems pretty decent, actually. It's just that, like... I don't know. It's long, and I'm not into campaign-style games. Like I said, genocide runs for those kinds of those kinds of games super fun to me. Otherwise, I'm not super into it. And even then, genocide runs are only fun to me because I'm into the trial and error factor. You know, like, oh, I need to oh, I need to do that. I need to put that one up. There it is. Okay. I'm into the trial and error factor, like. I quick save before I enter a room, and then I walk into the room, and if there's five guys, I have to figure out which ones to kill first. Then it's more of a strategy game, and at that point, I might as well be playing XCOM, but XCOM may have a couple mechanics that I'm just not into. I can't let you proceed any further. I'm sorry, my friend. I'm sorry, XCOM has a lot of mechanics I just don't like. I just do not enjoy those at all. Oh, that's... Damn it, every time. Nah, man, I'll pick up your... Yeah, I'll pick up your groceries. Yeah, dude, I... I'm taking your... I'm bringing your groceries. Like, that's... That's my plan. How much health do I have? Ugh, barely conscious. Can't have that, can we? Yeah, the choir's fine. But yeah, dude, I love recommendations for games. Anything you guys will want to see, I'm super down. Um, I know, uh, shit. I know it's... <laughs> Jesus, that's such a long name. It's time to play German. I'm into it, but... It's. I don't know how to abbreviate that. I know you said you wanted me to play Rust with you when I got my new PC, which I'm. Which again, I'm super down to do. Um, Rust seems like a lot of a lot of fun. I own it and I've played it a couple times. It's just that like, it's hard to play on a shitty PC. You know, like that's that's my deal right now. Is that my PC is very. What are my it was not made for Daniel? gaming. Well, hey there, Arthur, please. How's it going? I, again, I don't know how to... Per like, I don't know how to shorten names without being super rude. So I'm literally just going to do that. I'm going to say everybody's name that shows up. That's going to pop open. Just kind of... If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. No. It is or it won't. I guess I'm just going to be able to run away like that. Okay, cool. Killing us both. So, right now we're just picking up board pieces so that we can put them together later. Ow. Ow. God, this game. I don't know what it is. Every time I don't wear, like, earbuds underneath these headphones, I get a splitting earache. It's ridiculous. It happens for, like, half a second and then it's over and I don't have to deal with it anymore. Like right now? No, it's gone. See? I'm good. I'm good now. The worst part is these playthroughs are basically like exactly the same. Aside from the first one, which was kind of different. But that's only because I felt I literally fell through the floor and it took me three hours to play that instead of like the two that it's taken it's gonna probably take me now. Uh, that. No. Yeah, thank you. Those are a really nice way to up your sanity. <clears throat> Just out of everywhere. Man, it's nice to have everybody in the chat today. It's ooh, feeling pretty good. What's up? Oh, okay. I haven't had to deal with that before, but I'm totally gonna die here. Yeah. You do not get weapons in this. It's okay. So, Amnesia was like one of the one of the first of its genre, which is like a what we would now call survival horror. Um, which is like you have Resident Evil and Silent Hill and stuff, and in those, yeah, you get guns, you get bats, all sorts of weapons, all sorts of shit, and those are cool. 
those are fun. The difference between those and this is that in this game you're more supposed to... Yeah. You're supposed to avoid all enemies as much as possible because they can, will kill you, and you have the no way to defend against good yourself. For keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference. So no, you do not get weapons. Cross. You get this nifty lantern though the that you have to refill with with all oil every couple minutes if you decide you to use it. Administer the torture in any way you like. Um, but the forte of the wheel is the gaps. When you have decided Personally, shall die, I like this game enough smash their limbs as it is, but since I know it so well, I'm just speedrunning it. I'm just running it like this. I'm just running through it because, like, it's it's content, first of all. And second, like, I just like, I like the experience of this game, really. Um, it's fun to just have everything down to, like, a science, basically. Alright, but we got the back there just because, like, that fucking... Man, I must have stepped out of bounds or something because that's fucking stupid. That dude was not supposed to be there. I was. I was definitely supposed to be home free. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, like I said, this summer I might not get to stream too much, but I'll be making a shit ton of... Yeah, it's... it's good. Like I said, you know, there, this started like a whole thing, so like you got, um... Ah, shit. Well, no, I'm sorry, this was the first popular one to start it. Um, I know there were three Penumbra games that were basically the exact same thing, except instead of a lantern, you had a flashlight, and instead of... Uh, really ancient stuff. You were just kind of wandering through different buildings uh, with monsters following you in a bunch of different traps and stuff that could hurt you, which is basically that's all these games are. This is just they're really big exploring, like exploratory mazes. Nah, man, I Looks just like gotta I gotta go this way. Yeah, I did. Um, but this game, if I had to be like super honest, it's just one of the best for this. Anyways, back to talking about my shitty computer. Yeah, basically playing on a potato anytime I play right now, which is what all my old videos are from. You'll see those had like really low frame rates and really shitty quality. Ugh. That's why I was really glad when I got the PS4 and realized I could like stream off of it, especially here at, especially here at college, because like, ah shit, well we gotta go this way. The staircase. What a pain. That's okay. It's not not all that long. Just need this. Might as well pick this up too. Yeah, dude. You go back to the beginning. I've been using that same computer since forever. Um, if you go back to the beginning of my channel, the first couple of videos I posted, first of all, cringy as shit, because I was like 13 or something. I've been at this for a very, very long time. Um, whereas, now, my content is, if not better, it's much different. Is ready. Good. You, you're a man. How can you partake in this? Is he all right? He is one of the wicked. Don't pay his lies any attention. I'm not a bad man. It was an accident. He set a man on fire. It wasn't my fault. Why won't anyone listen? That's horrible. Of course. We are dealing with monsters here. I don't know, that one, that one specifically fucks me up pretty bad, just that little scene, I don't know why, again, being tortured is like my absolute worst nightmare, so, um, 
with the idea of like of being a kid. So okay, so my other biggest fear is like having like a life ruining punishment for something I literally didn't do, but nobody believes me. That's kind of like a huge, huge fucking factor in every one of my fears. It's just like getting blamed for something I didn't do and not being able to prove I didn't do it, but also knowing I didn't do it, which is kind of screwy. I don't know. Yeah, man, if you play this, I, I definitely recommend this one. If you really liked this one, I would say, I guess, play the second one, uh, which is Amnesia Machine for Pigs. It's not as good. It's interesting, though. Um, interesting enough. I might stream that one tomorrow, honestly. Just a little bit. I can't even come close to speedrunning that game. I haven't even fucking finished it. Like, that's how... That's how little of that game I have played. Scariest movie I ever watched, huh? Oh man, well... That's a good question. Alright, I'm gonna have a couple different answers for that one. So... If we're talking, like, movies that... I cannot, like, I can't watch because they're just too much for me. Any of the Saw movies, any of those, just in general. I, I don't, I'm not into gore at all. I know I have no right to ask anything of you. Oh, but right, no, no, right, Agrippa, I gotta go this way. Sorry, bud. I'll be back. Wait, do I have everything? Fuck, I, god damn it. Well, there goes the speed run. <laughs> yeah, I can't stand, I can't do gore, which is kind of ironic playing these kinds of games. I'm into, like, video game gore's fine. That's different. What I hate is, like, I guess I don't mind seeing dead bodies. Dead bodies are fine. Intestines, fine. I don't like watching people get put through, like, torturous and painful situations. And I don't like... I don't like watching them put themselves through torture, tortures and painful situations. Uh, it's why I never finished Heavy Rain. There's a part in that game where you have to like crawl through this glass covered, I totally fucking forgot about this. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. Um, this glass covered ground and you have to like make your way through this maze and that I it does you don't actually get hurt or anything like you do obviously but um, it's just it's too much for me Silent Hill's a little bit different though like that's that's all psychological horror I love Silent Hill movies um, not scary normally no uh, but scariest movie I ever saw God, I think I only watch, like, horror movies I know I'll like, so they're not too scary. I saw Insidious. I think that's... Whichever one... The one where if you watch the movie, the guy's in, he comes after you. I watched that one. Couldn't help but love that one because the little kids in the movie are too cute, I guess. God. There's a little girl at the end, and I just... I, ugh. She was awesome. I'm not like, I just like kids, dude. Manhunt is a brutal game. I, I kind of into that. I don't know much about it, but I'm also kind of into that game. Um, God, that question's really fucking me up. What's the scariest movie I've ever seen? I don't know, it means so many different things, like, Mama was okay. Mama was scary if you if you want to count that, I guess. Um, but it wasn't. But I like enjoyed that movie. I wasn't scared, you know. 
Paranormal Activity are probably like those movies are fine, I guess. They're not good by any fucking means. But, um... Oh, you know what? Grave Encounters, probably. I would say Grave Encounters is probably one of those movies that... That made me feel scared. I know it's like a cheesy B-flick movie, but there's some of the... There's some, like, just scenes in that movie that I when you when I see them I can't get them out of my head for a little while and so they've they're they're pretty good for me um you had me worried quite frankly I'm not sure what to do with you I hold no grudge against you Daniel yeah we Grave Encounters so... I'd say is probably like the quote-unquote scariest movie I've ever seen at least it in in terms of what affects me you know will you drink from the amnesia mixture so much of your behavior. You never did finish what you said. I've never seen Emily Rose. I have seen The Exorcism. I agree. To a point. Um, I will grant you another chance to redeem yourself. You can wait. Yeah, that I know. Yeah, I know. Texas Chainsaw is, um, Thank you. Texas friend. Chainsaw Massacre is probably okay. I'm not in any, like, any of those old horror movies. Like, the cheesy, those are cheesy. Um, But yeah, I could say <laughs> the, my my only problem with Ch Texas Chainsaw Massacre is everything after the first movie is like a joke. The second one and the third one just get silly. They're no longer based on true events, and ugh, it's awful. They're just bad. I will say, favorite horror game in general, definitely Silent Hill, just all the way. I have like a. No, well, what about Shutter Island? That's a good question, I think. I don't know how I feel about Shutter Island. I will say a uh, movie that fucked me up was one I saw. I don't, I don't actually know the name of it. I just know it's the sequel to Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs itself wasn't too bad. Uh, that one was, like, at best it was... A spooky movie, kind of. It, it says psycho thriller, but in all honesty, it's it's a horror movie. Um, whereas, like, is it just called Hannibal? Really? That's weird. But yeah, okay. I mean, I'm into it. Oh shit. I already fucked this up, I can already tell. Yeah, oh jeez, I let that get way too close. God damn it. Um. No, I've never seen Red Dragon either. I don't, I'll tell you, I'll be honest with you. I was into horror movies for like say about two years, and even then I was only into like recent horror movies or horror movies that were just coming out. I wasn't so much into um, classics, I should say. Yeah, the game, no dude, the game's got an amazing aesthetic. I love everything about just how this looks and how it feels. The lantern used to be like a huge aesthetic that I used to like, just, ugh, fall. I fell in love with it. Um, now, I will I will say, if you want to get even more out of this game, I would play it on PC. Because uh, um, here, on this, I have this collection, but only because I, I really wanted to play it. Uh, if I hadn't given a shit, I would not own it at all. Um, if I didn't like the story, I would not own this at all. But I'm okay with playing the main campaign over and over again. And you get Justine, which like fine. If you play on if you play on a computer though oh. Yeah, seriously, you should watch the old God, those those are good. PewDiePie now. Yeah. PewDiePie then, very good. Very good guy. Anyway, 
guys. I don't know, man. If I'm if I'm free to, I will play all sorts of fucking horror games. There it is. And now we just go over here and do that. Wish I had a PC. I mean, if you get it... Okay, so here, here's the thing. If you get it on PS4, it's fine. You'll get a lot out of it. Really, you will. Because if you're playing this casually, I played it casually, like, knowing all the puzzles. And that still took me, like, three hours. It's still a good game. Very fun. If you play it speedrun like me, you can get done in, like, an hour or so. But that's knowing everything. And that's, like going and knowing what's coming and not not dying because you know exactly where to go or whatever you know plus like I've, I've learned a very important lesson in this game and that's that it's just very easy to run around the castle crumbled and I could hear the chancel collapse the laboratory You did it! Thank goodness! Now, pay attention. Quickly! Off with it! Yeah. The only difference between this and PC is if you play on PC, you have access to custom stories, which are just like, obviously, custom stories. They're stories made by people who played the game and liked it enough to give a shit and make their own. Which, like, super cool, you know? Okay, that door just straight up dis a fucking beard. We're just gonna go ahead and take that. And you know what? While we're at it. Oh, yeah, dude. Then if you already picked it up, hell yeah. That's. If it was free, then it's good. You're good. I think I actually got it for free, too. Now that I'm thinking about it, because I just wanted to play it. I've got a couple of games on here that I just downloaded because they were free. Not the greatest idea. Ah, son of a bitch. Yeah, the collection. That's what I've got. Fuck me. Every time. Alright, that's gonna piss me off. I wouldn't mind it so much, but it fucking shoves your camera to the side and suddenly you're walking in the wrong direction. And you're not running anymore. Oh my god, I hate this game. I don't hate this game. <laughs> it's an over-exaggeration. Okay, so we put one piece there. You're not supposed to touch it, because it'll hurt you. But, like, who gives a shit? shouldn't cross him. So this is Amnesia the Dark Descent, so the it's the first game in the series, then it's Machine for Pigs. Um, the third one on the collection is just Justine, which is like, it's it takes place in the same universe as the Dark Descent, I think. It's just a different story. Son of a bitch, every time. Ugh, oh, god, I hate those. The red ouchies are... That joke is wearing me thin. Now we just gotta chill for a second. If you guys got any more questions, I'm down to feel. Yeah, mixed feelings is definitely what I'd say I have for this game at this point. It's, ugh, it's tedious and frustrating sometimes, and that's the only thing I can say is like super frustrating about it. But like otherwise, it's a really good game. It's beautiful to look at. It's fun to play. It moves so good. There are just like minor annoyances that bother me here and there, and that's that's it really. There aren't 
many games like it, honestly. Having a silent protagonist like Daniel is, is, quote, okay, I say silent, quote, unquote, silent. You're technically silent because they didn't do any voice lines for him. There we go. I don't know what, the, this isn't a puzzle. You're just supposed to fucking prick your hand in both of these rooms and then stand there until something screams. Hey, but we're almost done. So because, all right, so I just, I'm about to die because I'm unable to move properly. Hey, remember when I said this game is frustrating and dumb sometimes? That would be it. Barely conscious. Yeah, look at this. I'm, I'm fucking, I'm a broken man. I could say this game could be fun to watch. Yeah. Um... It depends on how into horror she is, I guess. Yeah, Rayman's real cool. I've I've been into that. It's the problem I have with that game is I'm like I I cannot talk while I play it. Is everything nice and clear now? Am I the villain? Good. I wonder if like I think this makes it go faster. Yeah, no, I'm gonna let you do it. I'm just hoping this makes it go faster. Maybe I'm saving mine too. I'm just like you, Daniel. A prisoner of circumstance. Trapped in a world I know. Yeah, I mean this this game has some gore. Like you'll find dead bodies fucking everywhere. But they're just they're just dead bodies. Really? No, it's not bad at all. I, this game, uh, it's it's spooky, sure, but it's like it's it's more in your head than anything because you just don't. It's kind of like you don't want to die to monsters and you don't want to like mess anything up, and it's it's really atmosphere more than anything, and that's what's really cool about this game. Do you see it? Being chased is like half of the fear, you know. Uh, you know, every time he says that, I feel a little less bad for him, which is kind of making this easier on me. We're just gonna go ahead and select a grip his head right now. After we refill our lantern with all of our oil. Oh, it's full. I've ruined you, bitch! Die! What the fuck? I have. I have seen the TV show Black Mirror. I'd say I've watched... 90% of it. Didn't watch there the newest season yet, because it seemed really... You see him, Maya? Preachy. He deserves so much more. I have watched all of Black Mirror besides that, though. Please, help him. I know you can. Not Rayman 3. Rayman Legends. Don't worry, Daniel. It will be all. You can right. play Ray You can't play Rayman 3 on PS4, as far as I know. You can play Rayman Legends. It's like my headphones have been pressing my hair down in a weird position. Hey, but that was amnesia, man. That was amnesia all the way through. Yeah, Legends is... It, it's fun. Um, Castle Rock is a fucking banger.
Yeah, me too. They're all good. Um, what time is it? Oof. Uh, well, um, so it's 5:50 right now. Technically, my college serves dinner at, or I'm sorry, it's 4:50. Uh, my college serves dinner at, uh, um, 5:15. So I will be going to that. Afterwards, I'll probably be free to stream um, some more. So uh, if you guys are down, I mean, I'll be here later. Yeah, Castle Rock's fucking sweet. I'm going to chill for a minute here um, and probably just stay on stream. I can actually, you know what? If I can... Can I... Tomorrow I might turn on commentary, because that seems interesting. I... Hmm. 